part four of our managing professional development activities such as mandatory training, accreditations and certifications using Jira Service Desk and Insight Asset Management series. As mentioned in part three of this series, once the service desk ticket has been closed and resolved, there's no need for any further manual processing of records. All maintenance can be performed via automation. In part two, when the employee created the request, they hadn't had to enter an expiry date and an inactive date. So when looking at the accreditation items in Insight, we can see that they've all got an expiry date and an inactive date. We can also see that they've all been in the status of achieved. So looking at our automation rules that we've configured in our object schema, we have a number of rules which are scheduled to run at a specific time each night, such as updating object statuses based on inactive or expiry dates, notifying employees and their managers via email when an object is due to expire within 90 days, and creating an issue in a JIRA project and assigning it to the employee when an object is due to expire within 90 days. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the updating of expired and inactive accreditation statuses. So I'm going to run these rules manually for this demonstration. So we'll run the update expired accreditations rule and we'll run the update inactive accreditations rule. Now we return to our accreditation objects and we can see now that we have a number of accreditation objects that are actually in inactive or expired statuses. And that is because this rule queried those dates and then changed the status based on those dates. We can also see via another automation rule that has been run that a JIRA ticket was created for any of those objects that were changed to inactive and assigned to the owner of the object. So if we have a look at this top one here, we can see that Aretha Franklin has completed this particular accreditation, but it is now inactive. We can see the inactive and the expiry dates, and we can see that the ticket has been assigned to Aretha. So the user has now been notified via email and has a JIRA ticket logged and assigned to them to ensure that they keep on top of their accreditations before they expire. So there are many ways to create automations to remove administrative overheads and time-consuming manual processing analysis. And this has just been a few of those examples.